Welcome to the Bar Tank Show. Today we have four talented young ladies coming to speak on their experience with the media. Oh my god, I'm so fucking excited. Every time I get excited, I have to poop. Okay then. So today we're here to discuss what defines your womanhood. And you women can go ahead and introduce yourselves. I mean, Snooki's already started, so... The rest of you ladies can go ahead. Hi, I'm Kim Kardashian, known for my assets. <laughs> I don't like to define my gender. I think of myself as a seed grown from the dirt of indifference. Yeah, so I love tanning, pickles, and getting with a hot girl at his head. What's up? I'm Natalie, aka the baddest bitch. Clearly, look at me, I got stacks on stacks on stacks. I've never had to work one day in my life because I got it like that. I run LA. I repeat, I run LA. Okay, well then. So how do you know ladies think that you guys contribute to society? I make music. I make music for ev everybody. Men, women, and children, and everyone else that comes in between. I make music for the animals who I love so much. I am the master of my own fame. Oh. Well, because I run LA, I own my own show. You should probably watch it on Oxygen. It's probably because I run LA. And I don't think I really need to contribute to society because that's for boring people, and I'm above that. Um, I'm all about the young Hollywood so socialites. Well, I pay the government more money, more money when I go tanning. And I support the government by paying taxes for my fave fried pickles and tanning lotion. I show the women now that it's important to want your sexiness and your boobs. <laughs> okay. So how do you guys feel about being role models for younger ladies? Well, I own my own line, perfume, and voluptuous accessories, so I can bring out... Oh, hell no. Making a sex tape is what made you famous, bitch. I personally feel that I am telling all my little monsters that it's okay to be different. I love my gays, and I want them to know that it will get better. I, it's okay not to be like everyone else. Everyone called me a freak in high school, and look where I am now. My main message to my little monsters, it gets better. I'm a great role model for the younger girls because I run LA and I'm invited to all the famous award shows and all the red carpet events and everybody wants to be me because I'm the baddest bitch. Well, all the girls out there who want to have a good time and just want to have fun are the kind of girls that I'm a role model for. You know, I show them the importance of being tan all the time because being pale is just gross. And the more you show your kooka, the sexier you are. These bitches are my prodigy. <laughs> oh my, is that right, Snooki? Mm -hmm. So which one of you feels like they're the greatest role model? Oh, it's I right. am. No, no, it's no. No. Okay, okay, okay. I'm okay. definitely the greatest Let's just role go one by one and answer the question. I'm too good for this, and I'm too good to be sitting with all you fat, ugly cows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell nah. I don't know who you're calling an ugly cow. I'm a bad bitch, the baddest of LA. That's why Ray J has to keep calling my phone. Whatever. I'm so over Ray J, obviously. I have moved on to bigger and better things. Ladies, 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 let's all just hold hands and sing songs and make peace. Uh, oh. Well, all you bitches are pale as fuck, so you're all fucking disgusting. Oh, God. In every appearance, you guys just promote sex, drugs, and promiscuity. That's not a role model in my eyes. Do you guys honestly think that it's okay to be having the younger audience look at you? Would you want your younger children and your future kids of America to see you acting like this? Sometimes I feel like my head is spinning. Not because of alcohol, but because of my life. When you're in the public eye, you're a role model, model whether you want to be or not. And I want to be. I'm not one of those self-obsessed artists who don't care about their fans. I'm not just about the music. I look out into the crowd, and there are 80,000 screaming young fans, and I have a responsibility to them. 
And you're an idiot if you don't know that. I'm a good girl. I have my own clothing line. I made a name for myself, although I've made mistakes. I don't have regrets, and I think people should see my mistakes as life lessons. I haven't done any crazy, anything crazy like these girls, but if there is one thing I know for sure, it's that you've got so flaunt it. Natalie's a great role model. I make the rules and everybody follows them. I'm an independent woman doing whatever I want, when I want. I don't know about you guys, but in my household, I was a princess. I run LA. Well, all I have to say to that is I'm a fucking good person. <sighs> Interesting, ladies. I think you guys have a lot of self-assessments to work on. Oh, Snooki, on your show, The Jersey Shore, is your character an act or is that really you? Uh, fuck no, bitch. I'm not like one of those fake bitches. I'm the realest bitch in Jersey. <sighs> so what do you guys think about men? Snooki, you first. I hate guys. I'm turning into a lesbian, I swear. If you were wondering which way to go, um, some women choose to follow men, and some women choose to follow their careers. If you're wondering which way to go, remember that your career will never wake up and tell you it doesn't love you anymore. Well, obviously, I have a thing for athletes, and right now I'm going through my second divorce, so I just want to focus on my career and my life and my, my baby and my family. To be honest, I can't keep them off me. They all want a piece of this bad girl. <sighs> so what do you guys think about the feminist movement and feminist activists? What's the feminist movement? Is it like a dance move or something? I believe I'm a bit of a feminist myself. I think it's important to that all my little monsters know that they're beautiful inside and out. And that they shouldn't be treated differently just of the constrictions of gender on your body. I think the feminist movement is like so cute. I mean, my the women in my family are very strong and after my dad died, my mom kind of took over as head of the household and she's really independent and I like try to embody that every day in my life. I believe in girl power. Me, myself, and I could take over the world, basically. So, with this attitude, where do you guys see yourselves in 10 years? I see myself making more music and spreading my message of tolerance. My ultimate dream is to move to Jersey, meet a hot tan Guido gorilla G's head, and have little tan Guido babies. Hopefully remarried for the third time with a big family and a hot, sexy Hopefully, I'll be running the entire state of California instead of just L.A. I hope to become so famous that everybody and their moms know my name. <sighs> For all the young ladies out there, these women are not role models. However, they continue to make millions of dollars acting wildly in the public eye. Irresponsible public figures is what they are. I think that it's important that we realize that in order for them to stop making money, we have to band together as strong females and watch things that are knowledgeable, as opposed to things that will not give us any information and contribute to society. Thank you for watching The Virotank Show. I just thought it was really true because all the things that they were saying sounded a lot like the real people, and it was just like ridiculous how we look up to those kind of people, and like we make them famous because we watch their shows and stuff. So, I definitely agreed with what they were saying, and I thought it was- Well, the Vira Tank show, it was very accurate in its portrayals of the celebrities who they acted out to be, because, I mean, it's so true what they were saying in the video, the people, they're just ridiculous, and I don't understand why we look up to them, because they're obviously not good role models, they're not promoting good values and morals for women, so, I don't know why we look up to them, maybe because they're- some of them are pretty. I mean, nope. yeah. my first impression of it was, wow, this is really true, and it's really sad. Um, if this is what, like, preteens and, like, teenagers have to look up to right now, I feel bad for our generation, because it's not going anywhere. I'm um, not going to lie. So, um, I think that we should look up to better people other than these, like, fake, fake tan, fake boobs type people on TV, because, <laughs> I mean, there's not really a good role model. We want to have people who will inspire us to do, to better ourselves, not inspire us to go out and get popular off of our looks and our actions. Yeah. Okay.
While the media often portrays women as doing domestic and menial work, they fail to portray strong, hardworking, hardworking women who've uh, succeeded in their respective fields. Women are portrayed negatively by the media, as you witnessed in this... Pirate, pirate tank show. 